Go. Hello, my name is Tom Grisham, and what I'm going to do today is demonstrate a great technique on being able to irrigate wound. As a wilderness medicine instructor, I'm often asked, how do I take care of wounds in the outdoors? The most important thing is to decontaminate it. Whether you're going to close it or not isn't as important as getting as much of the dirt and germs out as possible. So the first step is going to be go ahead and take some gauze that you have and wipe out any loose dirt that you have out of the wound. The next thing you want to do is to irrigate it with as much fluid as possible. Now you don't want to use your drinking water because that's very precious. But what you do want to do is to gather any other water that you can get your hands on. Disinfect it as much as possible. And if you can, you can use a camelback, but I've got a great technique if you just have a glove, a simple examining glove, and you've got some clean water. So what I want to demonstrate here is that once you've got the water cleaned, you try to keep the glove as clean as possible. And let's say that we've already disinfected this water with either a filter or a chemical or ultraviolet light. Now this glove will hold about 400 cc's. And although that doesn't sound like very much, it's actually more than what I typically see normal emergency physicians use in the ER. So it's very valuable. And you might even want to use two or three of these. Once you pour the water into the glove, then you want to seal it at the top twist it so that it stays sealed and now the next thing you want to do is to be able to puncture a slight hole in it now that's a little bit tricky doesn't matter where you place it once you puncture that now you've got a stream of water that you can use to spray into the wound with a little bit of pressure not too much but the whole key is volume not pressure and if you do this a couple of times two or three times with each glove then what you've got is a great way to irrigate the wound. And it's much cleaner, and now you can dress it and close it.